Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see manage virtual machines with the Azure CLI. So let me just quickly log on to the Azure portal and take it from there. So if you'll see this is uh, not the Azure portal, this is the Microsoft Learn. I'll show you what I'm saying. So this is where you can go for the Microsoft Learn wherein you can browse courses and uh, you can follow the any module any learning path that you want to go so in some of these uh, courses they have the sandbox environment see time remaining 54 minutes so it gives you uh see you have used one of 10 sandboxes for today so every day you will get 10 sandboxes environment in your subscription when you will uh, click on it click on to use the sandbox environment so in some of the modules they have this integrated sandbox modules which you can log on which you can review permissions which you can give access to and you will not be charged to do the labs on this sandbox environment right so we are following the manage virtual machines with azure cli so i will use this sandbox environment and we can quickly follow the on-screen instructions and commands right so first of all they talk about login subscription and uh, resource group so they say you'll be working in the azure cloud shell on the right this is the Azure cloud shell once you activate the sandbox you will be logged into azure with a free subscription managed by Microsoft Learn. You don't have to log in into Azure on your own or select a subscription. This will be done for you. You would also normally create a resource group to hold your resources. In this model, the Azure Sandbox will create a resource group for you. So if I show you my Azure portal now, if I just press it. And I show you the resource group. I believe there would be a sandbox resource group created as and when I log into it. So, see, hands on lab. So, this was created for the sandbox environment. So, everything that I'll create will be stored here. And as and when my sandbox environment time will be off, this will automatically be gone. Okay. So, I'm back here. It says create a Linux VM with the IO CLI. Subcommands are create, reallocate, delete, list, open port, restart, show. You can read about these are self explanatory. If you want more information, you can go to Azure CLI documentation. Right? So let's start with one AZVM create command line, which is used to create a virtual machine in a resource group. So I'll specify the parameters, which are resource group, name, image, location, and in addition, it's helpful to add the verbose flag to see progress while the VM is being created. So if you, I, if I just copy, right, and I just paste it here. See, same thing. I'm pasting it here, and will give you. I, I can see. Okay, AZVM create resource group. It's already created for me, right? Location is West US. Name it will be sample VM image Ubuntu LTS. Admin user would be this SSH keys and the verbose so that I can see the progress. All right, so now and I'll just hit enter. Okay, you will see the progress. Let me just grab my keyboard here. SSH files are being created in here. So if I just show you this is the resource group and now the resource group would also be created from me i'll just clean it afterwards so if i go back here the status is running okay we'll wait and i'll pause the video and come back as soon as it is done okay if you see here my VM is created, power state is running. This is the public IP address. And now if I go here, sample VM, I just paste it. I go here, I just paste the name here. I should see this. But the VM is running in the sandbox environment. All right. Now, they say that this command will create a new Ubuntu Linux virtual machine with the name sample VM. Okay, if you scroll down, we are also using the generate SSH keys flag 
this parameter is used for Linux distribution and creates a pair of security keys so we can use the SSH tool to access the virtual machine remotely. But you have a public IP address as well. Let me refresh my screen, right, and then check. I'll just do this. I'll just copy paste the name. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Don't know why. Okay. We'll create a G response. This is what I got, right? Same. Now test will an external talks about testing the new virtual machine. I'll hit continue. And it will start the shell from there only, right? So shell will not reload. Now I have the private IP address, I have the public IP address here, right? This is my private, this is my public IP address. Now I will connect to my VM with SSH. So I'll just do this. I'll just type the command. I'll do SSH and then Azure user at and then the public IP address of my VM, which is 20.245. And it's 162.91. I'll hit enter. I'll say yes. Okay. Keys to run a command. I'm I'm connected to my VM using the SSH from within the cloud shell. Okay, out. Ubuntu. As your user and VM, and I do this now. I explore the other VM images. Easy VM list. So I just copy it. It is more simple. I'll just paste it here, easy VM list output table, I'll hit enter. Right. See, it says, if you get the error, easy command not found, type exit into the shell and try again. So I'll type exit, but they have not mentioned the reason, right, why did it happen. So I'll do easy VM list. So I'll paste the command again. I'll hit enter. You got the latest images, right? Perfect. Now you'll have to get the all images, AZ VM image list. Then the SKU would be WordPress output table all. I'll just paste it. This is the most simpler way wherein you can practice the AZ CLI if you are new, if you want to start with basics, all right? It'll pull up the list as well. Then we can add another command to see the all images provided by Microsoft. It's taking a little bit longer. We got the results here. And now if I want to do it for uh, Microsoft images, I'll just paste the command, which is azbm image list, publisher Microsoft output table all. I'll just hit enter and I'll get the results. Then I can look for location specific images, whose location would be East US. Then I can also look for other commands as well, according to my wish. You have, if you want to practice more commands, you can read the documentation and practice more commands. Now, next here it talks about sizing VMs properly. So there are predefined VM sizes. So when you create a virtual machine, 
you can supply a VM size that will determine the amount of compute resources. So when you are creating a VM by CLI or from the portal, you get the option to select the size, right? Which is dependent on the compute resources that will be devoted to the VM, right? There are predefined VM sizes. These are like channel purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized. So easy VM list sizes, location east to west. So if I'll check the sizes from this command line, I place this, hit enter. These are the sizes that are available in East US. And now if you want to specify a size during VM creation, here you specify the size, right? So when we created a VM at the beginning of this video, we did not specify the size. So as you're selected a default journal purpose size for us. However, we can specify the size as part of the VM create command using the size parameter. And I can do standard DSV too. So if I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it. And hit enter. So this is AZ VM create. I'll mention the resource group in which my VM is. I'll mention the name. It is sample VM2. I'll mention the image with which I'll create a VM and my user. And it'll generate the SSH keys. And I'll mention the spice. I'll mention the size. I'm sorry. So the assertion tie enforces limits on how many resources you can create as well as the total size of those resources. For example, you are capped to 20 virtual CPUs with the PAG subscription and only for PCPs for a POTF, right? So if you hit this error, you in your own paid subscription, you can request, right? And if not, it is creating. So it is still running. If you'll see, I'll pause the video and come back. My VM is running. This is the public IP address. And if I want to resize this, Azure VM existing VM, easy VM list VM size option. And I'll mention the resource group. I mentioned the sample VM. I'll just paste it. I'll hit enter. And now this command returned me the all possible size configurations available in the resource group. And if I want to resize this VM, the previous VM that I created, I'll mention the sizer and then I'll specify the VM that I want to resize. I'll mention it, I'll hit enter. It'll take some time, but it will resize the existing VM. It is starting, it is running. I'll pause the video and come back. All right, my VM has been resized. So if I just scroll up to, to see the JSON I got, so if I did that, VM size is standard D2SV3. And then these are the parameters that was defined when I created the VM. So next video talks about query system and runtime information about the VM. So we'll, we'll, we'll just hit continue. AZ VM list, output type AZ VM list. You're going to get the IP address of the VM. You can do it from here. You'll see the IP address basic commands that we can run. AZ VM list, IP address, sample VM or table. And you want to get the VM details, AZ VM show, mention the resource group, and you can specify the sample VM name as well. If you, I'll just show you what will happen. Here, hit enter. I'll show you. And if you do not specify a name, let's see then what happens. If you do not specify the name, you only specify the resource group, you hit enter. So the name parameter is required, right? So if you do sample VM2, it'll give you the information for sample VM. 
and if you want to add filters to query with GMES path, then you can uh, run these commands and add to specify as an identifier that selects a key in the JSON object. And then you can filter your Azure CLI queries as well. I will not cover the GMES part in this video. And you can start and stop a VM. So if you will just mention AGVM stop, the name and the resource group, it will help you. It will allow you to stop the VM and then you can start the VM as well. But with the VM is, if the VM is in running state, make sure that you're stopping it. If the VM is in stop state, make sure that you are running it. Right, so it will power off the VM or it will deallocate a VM and then stop the VM, sample VM. The status is running and we can verify the VM is stopped by attempting to ping the IP address. So if you'll just uh, ping the IP address, it will not, you will not get a reply because the VM is stopped and then you can start a VM with ACVM start command like we did for ACVM stop. All right, my sandbox environment just went off because I uh, crossed the time limit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want, you can search for the Microsoft Learn Azure CLI practice commands, and then you'll be able to practice those commands as well. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.